After leaving the White House, President Jimmy Carter continued impacting the world through his work with Habitat for Humanity. That organization's built hundreds of homes here in the upstate. 7 News reporter Chloe Salsameda tells us how two local chapters hope to continue his work. Each year, members of the Clemson and Pickens County chapters of Habitat for Humanity build homes here in Bowman Field. They tell me they hope to continue the legacy of former President Carter, who's impacted their chapters and others across the world. When people think about Habitat for Humanity, nine out of 10 people their thoughts go to former President Jimmy Carter. Former President Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosalind have worked with Habitat for Humanity since 1984, building and repairing more than 4,000 homes. They really truly were swinging hammers and sleeping in tents and sleeping in RVs during all those bills. The Carters traveled the world to help those in need. They never visited the Pickens County chapter of Habitat for Humanity, but their impact can still be felt. I really applaud the years that um, they have spent furthering the ministry and the mission of Habitat for Humanity. The Pickens County chapter is the second oldest in the state, beginning their work in 1981. We have constructed and renovated 111 affordable homes for individuals and families in Pickens County, and we're currently working on four additional homes across the county. The chapter works alongside more than 100 students from Clemson University each year. Uh, we have build days all throughout the semester where we go out and work on houses as a club. So we're constantly trying to stay busy and raise money and have different events. Zane Andrews is the construction coordinator for the Clemson University chapter. He's been a member of the group for the last four years. Uh, it's just really cool to see how it's grown with help from people like Jimmy Carter. You know, he's he's been out there, he's done the work. Andrews says he's seen firsthand how Habitat for Humanity has touched the lives of volunteers and people in need. He hopes to continue Carter's legacy by working with a group after graduating. It's just a great opportunity to learn and to, uh, to give back. Uh, it's, it's good for your soul and it, it's just so rewarding to be out there and to work with all these different people. In Clemson, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News. So if you're interested in volunteering for Habitat for Humanity, you don't have to have construction experience. We have more information about how you can get involved on WSPA.com.